couldn't find a better word to describe us. We are a family and I am so, so lucky to be a part of it. I love Hi, everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know I had to deck it out. I found some stuff to put around. I was like, oh gosh, gotta she... do it. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I like um, this shirt. Thank you. Congratulations on joining this show. Um, what was it like when you got that audition? And were you a little intimidated on joining a franchise that is so beloved? Or were you like, I'm going to take this on. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, no, definitely intimidated. I mean, for a show so successful and huge and the legacy, not just of the show, but the movies before that, to jump into that with people as talented as they are, it's nerve wracking. Like you'd never believe. But uh, the cast, they're all so wonderful and so inviting and so helpful that it feels like, it's not like, oh, I'm pushing my way in. It's them like inviting you in. And then having Tim as well be someone who's like, hey, if you ever need to talk to anybody, talk to me, talk to this person. Talk, like it, the whole, the whole set as a whole is just a beautiful experience. And everybody was so kind, so kind. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, audition-wise, when I first got the audition, I wasn't necessarily intimidated just because, like, I've been auditioning my whole life. So I was like, cool, another audition. Um, it was like when I got closer and closer every time to, like, I'm getting pretty far in this that I was like, hmm, what if I book this? Like, this is kind of crazy. Um, and then just, like, joining, honestly, I've been saying this entire time, like how warm and welcoming they are. And that is completely true. I just wish I had better words to honestly express how, just how phenomenal each and every single person in that cast and on that crew is. Like they welcomed us with open arms. I am a part of this huge family now. And I couldn't find a better word to describe us. We are a family and I am so, so lucky to be a part of it. That's amazing. Yeah, I was watching the first three episodes and you two fit in so well. I love it. And you also have like two of the coolest names I've I've ever heard on this show. Right? Like, oh, I heard that yes. was like Maddox. Okay, cool. I like it. <laughs> yes, okay. And both of your characters are a little mysterious. I know we can't give too much away, but what are you excited for viewers to know about these characters? I think I'm excited uh, just because I feel like Maddox is so relatable in certain ways because she is this theater geek. She is so excited for camp to start. She just wants everything to go smoothly. But deep down, she's this like, awkward little human being who's just trying really hard to fit in and really struggling with it. But she does evolve from that, which I'm also excited for people to see. But I'm just glad that I have this sort of like representation to show in it, especially with like I, Maddox is like this techie stage manager girl who like helps everyone shine from behind the scenes and like is is doing all this work to make sure that they can shine and so i'm excited to like be representing that too um so yeah i think jet has a lot of really relatable aspects and the fact that everyone's had a time where they were pushed into a situation that they weren't necessarily comfortable with. They're not comfortable with the people there. And a lot of people don't know how to deal with something like that. And I think the Jet is just a kid in a situation that he doesn't really know how to deal with. And I think that that's one of my favorite parts of his growth as a character is figuring out how to deal with something like that. And what I think that people can expect with Jet is a lot of surprises. I think that Jet has a whole bunch of layers to him that every every time you peel one off, there's something else that you weren't expecting from him. And I mean, I think that him being here is such a difference to what is normal in the whole High School Musical, the musical, the series franchise, because what you have is a lot of people that are very passionate about what they're doing. All of the Wildcats are so passionate about the musical, right? But having someone who is not is definitely a switch up. Someone who's like, I would rather not be here. And I think that that's going to play a really cool role in the grand scheme of the show. Amazing. And I know, Sailor, what you were saying about, you know, 
Maddox is that stage manager. That was me in high school. I like did crew because yeah. I was too scared to be in front of that camera. So I was like, I love that. I am seeing this on stage. Yes, <laughs> on I'm the show. I'm just like, someone has already pointed it out to me. Someone was like, I'm so happy that you're like representing that sort of like thing that that we haven't seen a whole lot of on the show specifically because it's all about like you know the kids who are auditioning. So I'm just like so happy that I get to be doing that and yeah. people can like see themselves who aren't necessarily wanting to be in the spotlight like on screen um so i'm just really lucky that i get to do something like that (laughs) what was it like shaping the new characters that are coming in because you really are giving such good arcs to everybody which must be hard to kind of navigate when you have so many great characters but these two new characters are so great did you do you like age? You like them, right? You like Sarah, I do. You like uh, Jet and Maddox. Are we? Is this a filmed <laughs> interview? It probably is. Yeah, it Very is. Good. I'm yeah. just so I'm so I'm so curious how you responded. I'm so crazy about these two young actors. Adrian and Sailor are so talented. Adrian's got a song later this season. I'm so crazy about Sailor as Maddox has a really big arc and. Um, you said it so well. We have so many actors to serve in so many episodes um, that that there's always something we sacrifice, but ultimately it was a joy to introduce these new people into a dynamic that is pretty well established. And uh, it may only be two weeks, but when you're young, two weeks can feel like a year. And, uh, and a, lot of, a lot of stuff gets shaken up with these two characters. Yeah, I, I, mean, I was telling, I was just telling Sailor, I was, I did crew when I did the musicals because I was too scared to be in front of the stage. And, um, you know, it takes a lot of people to put on a production. We're actually getting to see that with her character. So I was very happy about that. Yeah, and we wanted to tell that story too. There's so much pressure when you're young. It's like adults are like, follow your dreams, follow your passion. You're like, ah, it's a lot of pressure. I'm not sure what it is yet. And, And I wanted to show that the reality is that the actors always get to take the final bow, but in real life on our show and on camera, we try to tell the story a little bit as well about crew members who without them, we wouldn't have a show. (laughs) One could say the stakes have never been higher. And one will. The stakes have never been higher. 